Hi everyone, it's Kim. So I didn't do any cutting videos because um, we were just, you know, really busy. I had to go back and pick up my friends at the hotel and they came over and we cut the soaps and um, cleaned them up and then just had a few hours extra to spend visiting before I took them back to the um, hotel to um, get ready to leave tomorrow. So I'm just going to show you what we have here. So this one is the Leather Rosa and this is the crushed rose petals and whatever, you know, the, the, cru the crushed rose petals that are in there. And then the rosebuds. And this was done with pink, um, I mean, with rose clay. And I had taken rose hip powder and infused it into a ale beer. And then I also added um, some goat's milk to the blend. Um, before you know when I as part of my water so anyway it smells great it has um, a romantic look to it I think oops sorry has a romantic look to it the color I really like the color a lot Hope you guys had a great Easter, safe Easter. And um, okay, so then this one is the um, the Castile. Like I said, I've never made a Castile before, and this one was with made with half um, goat's milk for the liquid, and it's you know pretty firm. We did like a 33 or 30 percent water on it, and um, I really love those little. Um, corn flowers on there. They're, they're delicate and I love the shade of that violet blue. Um, then this one is my um, hibiscus hibiscus and ginger milk um, batch and it's absorbing it now but it was pretty oily. I felt that it overheated. Well it definitely had this appearance, I don't think, I know if you can tell, there's some drag marts from, this is hibiscus um, petals on top, but um, it's not so bad right now, but um, it, it just overheated almost immediately when we added the fragrance oil. The ginger milk part was fine with that fragrance oil, but the hibiscus passion, it, it just, it had the most weirdest look. I said it looked like pate or alpo. I don't know. It was just very strange. And so um, it it overheated. We put it in front of a fan. I didn't want to put it just straight in the, the freezer because I felt like as though I would end up getting a partial gel. So I just let it stay warm, but I put it in front of, um, in, in front of a fan underneath the ceiling fan to try and, um, you know, keep it as cool as possible, but go ahead and allow it to gel. And then the last one that I made was, or we made, was the um, red clover, red clover and red clover boss blossom. I think this one looks really cool, really pretty, 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 really pretty. It was an in the pot swirl, and then we just put some um, red clovers on top, and we used chromium dioxide. I mean chromium, yeah, is that chromium dioxide? To um, color it with and then the other part is just natural batter and I didn't have any kind of crazy ingredients in there or anything I think I just used um, coconut milk half coconut milk in there and so I used the slab mold or you know for it but I think it's really pretty it to me looks very organic and um, kind of um, old-fashioned I don't know there's something about it I like and it has that rugged sort of look still that I like so anyway I just wanted to share that with you and um, um, I just want to say I had a great weekend with my friend Linda and um, her friend Janet that came from, all the way from Colorado to uh, make soap with me and um, I'll be making some more soaps next week um, I'm gonna be back making soap again since I'm all settled into my new place well I hope you guys have a great week talk to you later bye